Hey, it's been quite the journey. I got the keys early, so I only had a couple of days and I had really great people show up at my house and help me move. I didn't have a ton of stuff, but it was about getting it, doing it, uh, doing it quickly, <laughs> um, getting it all done. I mean, it was just a lot, a lot to deal with. Um, and I appreciate all of you know who you are, who supported this for me. Um, it's been great. You can hear I'm all congested from Arizona. I was uh, driving through not a horrible storm, but definitely dust storms that almost the entire time until I was about 20 minutes to actual San Diego. Uh, luckily, you know, no hail, no real dust storm where I had to stop, but it, it was quite the hazard. And, you know, I don't know how you recheck people when you're by yourself, but U-Haul really screwed up and they put my car and myself in danger and other people. So that is going to be a big issue that I will address. Um, I have pictures, so I will post that where they did not properly secure my one of my wheels and I was stopped on the highway checking it and I couldn't even fix it myself because it was underneath my tire. Um, they also wrapped it around my muffler in the back of my car. Not allowed. Uh, it is what it is. I had 400 miles to go and do on my own and I had nobody that could like help me in the middle of that. Um, but I'm safe. Thankfully, everyone else is safe. I'll make sure my muffler's not loose by a mechanic before I drive out to see my clients this weekend. Uh, well, starting Thursday. Um, and I just, I'm here. I'm very grateful for that. I'm about to eat my first meal. It is not gluten-free. I am having a fermented drink that should help a little bit. If I get sick, it is what it is. Like, I'm going to eat this. Um, I've had it before and I wasn't super sick. I'll just be careful how much bread I eat. But this is one of my favorite places. It's walking distance from where I live in Little Italy. Um, I don't live in Little Italy, but it's right, right close. Um, and some other places I saw. And then I was driving trying to find a place to detail my car. I need all the dust and stuff out of the wheels. And, you know, as I'm driving, this is my patio, by the way. As I'm driving, I was like, well, this isn't horrible to be on a hill. And I was literally, you know, off the Pacific Highway looking at the boats and the water and the, the um, cruise ship. And I'm just like, wake me up. Wake me up. I just, <laughs> you know, of course I'm sad. I have mixed emotions about everything. It's massive changes. Um, luckily I will be back and will really work hard on spending quality time with my kids and my, my grandkids. Oh, good luck. There's a hummingbird right here. Just visited me. Oh my God. I'm going to cry right now on video. Do you see him? Oh my God. <laughs> and then, and then I go to get the gas right there. And, um, I fill up the truck so that when I get here and the movers move me, I can drop that crazy monster off, which is a 10 foot truck and a trailer, as you saw. And there was a dollar bill, a dollar bill sitting right there on the floor. I was like, okay, what great luck. Uh, then I had the amazing movers. I said, you know, I don't need you for two hours. I need like an hour. And so they put my bed together for me. So I would have a bed to sleep on tonight. Um, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do everything. Um, and he bought, I borrowed his knife and I told him I've been needing to get a little pocket knife. I just never have one. I need one. Um, you know, I need to get something that I really is small that works for me to have on my person. Cause I walk a lot. Pepper spray might not cut it. And also it's just convenient to use all the time and I should just have one. And, uh, when he left, he gave me his pocket knife, his, his very own pocket knife. This man that has 10 children. Uh, I almost started crying then. I mean, San Diego, I'm telling you, the people, the people already just life changing. So I, I'm just, <laughs> I will cry later. Um, so anyways, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been there. And, um, it's, it's, I'm enjoying sharing my journey as well. And I'm looking forward to seeing my clients soon, which also because of them, I am here uh, living my best life at almost 50. So, all right, we'll talk soon. Bye.